10 years of ARPG dominance, countless skill builds and enough currency chaos to make your head spin is finally here. Path of Exile 2. But is it the masterpiece we hoped for or just a shiny new act in an already crowded genre? Hey there Exiles, whether you're a veteran in Mean Maxer or someone who still thinks a passive skill tree should fit on one screen, today we are diving into the Path of Exile 2 with early access. And trust me, this isn't just a POE with better graphics. This sequel has ambition and a dodge roll. Let's get rolling. Grinding Gear games didn't just level up, they used an orb of chaos on a whole game. The visuals stunning. From frozen tundras to crumbling mausoleums, every area is dripping with detail. It's like the art team said, what if Path of Exile looked expensive? And oh boy, does it. Little touches like ice shards forming mid-air when you freeze an enemy, or an exaggerated heft when a skeleton heaves a gravestone at you. This makes the wolf feel alive, or, you know, undead. Okay, let's talk about combat. If Path of Exile 1 was about turning into a screen clearing demigod, POE 2 is about reminding you that you are mortal. Think souls like ARPG where every dodge roll matters. Gone are the days of face tanking everything with life leech. Now, you've got an unlimited dodge rolls, yes, unlimited, but they come with a twist, you know, you'll lead them because even trash mobs hit like a freight trains. And these bosses, absolutely chaos. One boss ran away mid fight and came back with a bell and tried to flatten me. They are creative, tough, and most importantly, memorable. And yes, the passive skill tree. It's still here and it's still massive, seriously. It's so big, NASA might use it to find new constellations. But here's the thing, skills feel more connected now. Each ability synergizes in a clever way. For example, I can palm strike an enemy's essence and power up another ability in the process. It's like every button you press is part of a grand murderous symphony. Skill gems and support gems have also gotten a glow up. They are clear, more intuitive, and get this, they now recommend setups for new players. No more sweet shit level planning, just to figure out which gems to slot. Path of Exile 2 has done an unthinkable. It's actually welcoming to new players, from smoother tutorials to better organized systems. It's easier than ever to get started, but don't get too comfortable. This game is hard, enemies respawn after you die and checkpoints are sparse. It's like grinding gear game set, what if frustration was fun? Turns out it kind of is. Now. Let's not forget, this is early access game, it's solid but I had a couple of crashes, nothing game breaking but hey, forewarned is forearmed. Also, why can't I switch between controller and mouse seamlessly, come on, triple G, it's 2024. We'll have to see how servers hold up during the public release, but so far it's been a strong start. Path of Exile 2 is shaping up to be more than just a sequel, it's a love letter to ARPG fans, it's challenging, rewarding and gorgeous. Yes. It's still in early access, and yes, there are some quirks, but the foundation here rock solid. So should you play it? If you're up for a challenge and don't mind a bit of early access troublance, absolutely. But if you're expecting the polish of Diablo 4, you might want to wait a few updates. Thanks for watching Exiles, let me know in the comments what's your go-to class for Path of Exile 2, Monk, Sorcerer, or are you just here for that sweet dodge roll? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more gaming content. Until next time, stay vigilant, stay stylish, and I'll see you in a Ray class.